to interest in lunar exploration. However, many parts of the terrain in this region are constantly in the shade, means no light. A tree named permanently shadowed region PSR, which poses a real threat to our solar power rovers and diversity. These PSRs are also a region most suspected of containing water ice, which scientists are thirsty to explore. As one can imagine, entering a PSR with a solar power rover is a risky endeavor. Why? If the rover is delayed by faults, it may not be able to make it back to sunlight before running out of energy, explained Olivier Lamery, the study author to Physics All. This means that rovers absolutely cannot reach a recharge spot because even ahead of time since the combination of low battery and fatal darkness could result in US losing control over the teak forever. Thus, we need to define what safe conditions represent to a rover. To do this, we pay attention to where the rover exists, a PSR at what time and with how much energy is left in its batteries. This gives an indication of whether the rover can hibernate in a place before the next leg of its mission. Let me explain that. Then we capture an online transverse planning method that the rover can follow from any starting state. Assessing such a risk helped create algorithm for safer paths that the rovers could take during their exploration, even if these ended up taking longer than usual. This could be significantly um, mitigate the risk of losing solar power rover in shadow region. The team believes. The researchers also think that this method could eventually be applied to real-world lunar manned mission as well when human operator begins to teach through its south pole. So far, we tested our approach using orbital data of Cavius crater, but we are hoping to use NASA's custom solar illumination map and apply our technique in many other areas at the lunar south pole that will one day be visited by a robotic or crewed mission. Lambry hope the pre-print of this paper is very fantastic.